So I was scrolling through the comments and I saw an interesting question and that was, what is the ultimate loadout for Call of the Wild 2020 with all DLCs? And that actually got me thinking because I did a video like this a long time ago, but the game was almost unrecognizable from then to now, like spine shots were a thing and you didn't have to worry nearly as much about the power of the weapons you were using, you just had to actually be able to hit the spine. And that's not really how the game works anymore, so I got to thinking and tried to figure out like what the absolutely necessary weapons were and what you could kind of fit into a loadout and actually carry around without a backpack or without the pack mule perk. So I think I came up with the best loadout I possibly could to allow you to get integrity and quick kill on every species in the game. Now this loadout, I will say, does not really allow callers to fit in, but I do think callers are kind of unnecessary in the game anyway. The way need zones work and the fact that you can kind of just, if you do spook an animal, just wait for them to come back. I do think you can get away without them, so I'm not necessarily saying this is the best loadout. What I'm saying is these are the guns that I think are necessary, and if you don't tend to use collars anyway, then I think you could actually use this loadout. So my goal here was to make a loadout where you wouldn't have to change your inventory if you switch maps. So again, the collars thing really wouldn't matter here anyway because you would need to switch collars if you're going to use them. But if you carry these five guns, you will be set no matter what map you go to. So my current loadout is the 300, the 30 odd 6, the Mosin, the 223, and the 22. If you have those five weapons, you will be set regardless of what map you go on. You'll be able to get 100% quick kill and integrity on every single species. Now, as much as I'd like to go over the shot placement and what weapon to use for every single species, that would make this video take forever. So what I'll recommend for the weapons is actually the spreadsheets in our Discord. We have spreadsheets that actually tell what weapons to use for every species in the game, and that can actually be really useful. That link is below if you want to join that. As far as shot placement goes, I've done some videos on this in the past. I think I am going to try to do some updated ones for some of the newer maps. But generally, these weapons are pretty good for double long shots. Some of the larger animals, like Cape Buffalo and Water Buffalo, Brain or Heart, is kind of the way to go. But almost all of these you can rely on a double long shot. And I'll just say, practice your shots on some of the smaller animals. Like, use the correct weapon, go for the shots you would go for on a diamond. Because that is the way you figure things out. That's how you know what shots to go for when you actually run into a max level animal. So let's just talk about this loadout for a minute. We started with the 300, which is actually a part of the Yukon Valley DLC, if you didn't know that. So Yukon Valley is a map, but the gun comes with it. And I prefer it over the base game 338 for a couple of reasons. Now they are the same weapon class, they get the same integrity on all the different species, but for one, the 300 of course has the four round magazine, which is nice. It's good for things like charging buffalo, lions you can get two shots into and still keep integrity, so say you mess up the first shot, it's nice to have that quick follow up. And also just in general, if you want to take out two animals in the same herd, obviously the gun with a multiple round magazine is going to be better for that. But also the accuracy discrepancy is huge. The 338 only has 10 accuracy, and that's a theme throughout the game. Generally, the larger weapons have a lower accuracy stat, but the 300 has 80 accuracy, which is really, really good. It maxes at 100, and that doesn't make a big difference for close range shots. But when you're starting to shoot over 200 to 300 meters, that's actually a really big deal. So... It's really good to have that higher accuracy stat. The 300 has every capability of taking down animals at that range, so having the accuracy to come with it is really nice. Then we have the 30 6 which is maybe the most versatile weapon in the game, and it is ridiculously overpowered for its weapon class. So it's essentially a slightly weaker 7 mil, and I mean just slightly. It can do pretty much everything the 7 mil can do, but it's actually classed like half a weapon class below in with a 270 and 4570, so it can take out things like Warthog, Wild Boar, Whitetail, all the new Ibex species in Mouflon, and still get integrity. Plus, it has all of the abilities to take down the larger animals like Red Deer, Wildebeest, things like that. So that made it super versatile when they made that change and actually dropped the weapon class down a bit, and I really think it's pretty much a requirement. That's a Weapon Pack 3 DLC item, and it's really, really good on pretty much every map. Then of course we have the Mosin, which is a Weapon Pack 2 DLC item, and it's been a staple in pretty much everyone's loadout ever since it was initially released, and I still think it's probably the best medium game rifle in the entire game. Now the 30 odd 6 has taken some of its usefulness, but it's still good for all those slightly smaller animals like Blacktail Deer, Axis Deer, Fallow Deer, and a ton of other ones. It's got probably more power than it should for its weapon class, much like the 30 odd 6, 
but that does make it really, really good to carry. And I don't think there's any issues ever with any of the species that you go for a lung shot on. If you hit a lung, you're pretty much set for full quick kill. And then we come to the only base game weapon in this loadout, which is the 223. And there's not a whole lot to say about it. It's just a good solid gun for those smaller species that don't actually have really any other weapons that get full integrity. Now, one that does is the 45 pistol, which is a weapon pack 2 DLC item. And I considered including that over the 223, but I just prefer the range the 223 has and in general the ability to put on the larger scope and just make those more accurate shots because you are shooting rather small animals and it's just good to be more accurate in my mind. And again, you could probably use that pistol and fit some collars into your loadout. I don't think collars are that necessary, so this is the route I went. And lastly, of course, we have the 22, which is really only for the ducks and the rabbits. It's just one of those things where you never know when you're going to see a level 3 duck or a rare duck or maybe a diamond or rare rabbit running around in front of you, and you just want to have that weapon there for it to actually get full integrity. Now, as far as I know, it's impossible to hit a rabbit or a duck with the 22 and not get full quick kill, so that's really good. But you just want to have that with you because there are plenty of chances for rare and diamond ducks if you hunt the maps that have them. They are pretty common. So that is my kind of ultimate loadout for the Hunter Call of the Wild going into 2020. And again, I don't know that I'd necessarily recommend carrying this loadout. I personally do change my colors every different map that I go to. But again, I don't use my colors really all that often at all. I just like to have them in case. But if you're the type of person that doesn't want to have to change your loadout every single time you switch a map, these are the five weapons that I think you want to carry with you and be able to get that full quick kill and integrity on everything. They're very versatile and they may be, for the most part, kind of costly, all of them being DLC weapons except for one, but they do make a lot of the game a whole lot easier. So let me know what you guys' favorite loadout is in the comments below. If you have a loadout that you just carry to every map and don't switch things up, I'm very interested to see what you guys come up with because I looked at this for a long time and this was the best I could do to actually fit it in uh, like the normal 20 units that you get from your inventory. So I'm very curious to see that and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.